Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for November 18th through the 24th, 2019. So 2019. So let's take a moment to take a deep breath and really focus your attention on your heart flame. And just allow yourself to be embraced by this sacred fire that resides within the center of your soul. And set the intention that you wish to be nurtured by your heart flame. And that you're going within to connect with your higher wisdom and for more clarity about your soul's purpose in this moment right now. And any vulnerabilities that you're experiencing, or any concerns or fear, anywhere where you may have doubt, that you give this to your angels and see it as a, a piece of paper, some, some things that are on your mind. You can see this in your mind's eye. And whatever it is, whatever you need help with, just throw it into the flame of your heart, of your soul, and know that it's being offered to the universe of possibilities, of peace, balance, and harmony. And just breathe, take a deep breath. And let go. And so it is. So you're, what I'm sort of seeing right now is the third eye and what the, um, the pupil of the eye sort of looks like a, uh, a full moon flame, interesting. And so this is for me um, indicating a week of heightened sensitivity and awareness that you're really being guided by your soul and that your soul is seeking purity, truth, and honor. And that you'll be finding yourself dealing with things that confront you about your integrity. And I don't know, um, and they keep writing the word book. So I'm not sure if this is um, something that you're reading currently. It feels like something that you're reading that, um, or that you may come across that's going to raise your vibration or that there's something that you're doing, that you're reading um, that is already raising your vibration or something. There's a book that really helps you, has always helped you to really tune in to your higher self. And they write in the word laws. So for this, this is like the law of attraction 
or any of the laws of the universal laws. And it, it almost seems that you need to be mindful of the laws that are unfolding, that are in place, that are influencing your life at this time. And that these laws are influencing a tremendous amount of change for you. And they're helping you to find your, your purpose, helping you to find deeper and tr um, meaning. I'm seeing the angel number 593. So I'm just looking this up and to share this with you. And the number reads 593. The ascended masters have heard and answered your prayers about improving your career so that it is more meaningful and fulfilling for you. So this gives me a sense that you are seeking to somehow refine your, your, your spiritual path, your, your, um, your purpose. You're, you're, you're trying to bring more greater clarity. You're trying to bring forward more authenticity, more truth into what you do. You're, you're searching for ways, almost it's like you're, you know, you're feeling like this, this could be better. I, I need to do better or I need to um, be doing something more here. And sometimes we may think that we need to do something more, like outside of what we're already doing, when in fact sometimes it's just that we need to be more of who we are through what it is that we're doing, that we're actually holding back. And we're holding back because we're trying to, we're aiming for validation. And when we're aiming for validation, we often are holding ourselves back from being who we are or from following our own gut instincts. And this is a compromise to your integrity. It's almost like you're, they're showing me like a bench, like a park bench. It's like you're, you're just sitting back and you're not allowing yourself to do what you know you're capable of doing. Because this validation has become, is, is over, is, is, um, it's clouding your judgment. That's what I'm hearing. This validation is clouding your judgment. And they're like, you kind of need to get off the sofa of this and get on board with what your soul is ready to launch, but it's, but it's ready to do. They're almost showing me sort of like this really, um, like a spotlight. I wanted to say at first a telescope, but when I actually think about it, it's, it's a spotlight. And it's sort of like a huge one that you can, is why I thought it was a telescope at first, because it's like something you would aim up to the stars um, and so there is some, there's some goal, that really high goal, high spiritual goal that you really want to shine a spotlight on a particular constellation within your soul, a particular purpose. And it's shining and shiny and beautiful and brilliant. It's like a brilliant idea a beautiful message. And you've been getting this message. You've been getting this, this desire, this impulse to, to do this, but something is holding you back. Maybe you don't want to step on other people's toes. Maybe you're afraid of overshadowing someone else. Maybe you're too concerned about that, that how others may perceive your actions and what you may try to do. 
And one of the things is, I think in a situation like this, where, you know, let's say if there's a, you have colleagues and you, you all kind of see that if somebody kind of steps forward, um, it looks like they're trying to get ahead of everybody else and, you know, leaving the team behind. And the sense I was just getting from them is that, you know, if you can cultivate an environment where everyone kind of encourages one another um, and that you recognize that each person will have their moment or everybody at least has the opportunity for their moment. They're all having such moments as the one that you're having right now and they chose not to act upon it because they were fearful of being perceived as being greedy or something like this. But what you have to focus on is the contribution because that's what we're all really, that's a, a re, I think that's what deep down each one of us, are, it's our sincere goal that the soul feels a strong need to make contributions. This allows the soul to, to feel the, a profound fulfillment. And when we hold back and do not fulfill those contributions, what ends up happening is, and they just wrote the word people, but what ends up happening is for you, is that you lower, it's like you create this vacuum that for you to spiral downward, it's like a, um, it just sucks the life out of you. you, you when you keep suppressing yourself, it becomes depressive over time and it affects your perspective. It lowers your expectation, it lowers your optimism and you can become more pessimistic and more um, afraid of risk and doubt yourself. So the first and foremost reason for taking action upon such contributions of the soul is to keep uplifting and empowering your spirit to be an even, even greater source of purpose and contribution. It's, it's so important. And to inspire other people to know that they too can act upon them. When you, when you don't do it for you know purpose of validation then it comes it reads as inspiration to others and it activates within them the courage to offer their own contribution to release that fear and to and to and to and to believe and have confidence in their own guidance so this is an even more extraordinary contribution that you make when you honor and you listen to your soul's guidance. So think about what we just said in terms of the side effects of withholding these contributions. And notice how everything affects you first. This is why, you know, they encourage you to love yourself, to nurture yourself, to do, to, to do everything for yourself. Because this is, what you, this is what must be done in order to truly give. To give freely, to give and receive freely, you must listen and honor and nurture and cultivate this relationship with yourself in terms of spiritual 
guidance and spiritual um, awareness. And that whatever you offer becomes inspiring when you do. It comes with energy. It's, you give with energy as you receive that energy. You give the gift of inspiration. You give the gift of courage and confidence. Whereas if you don't, then you give, you offer doubts. And this is what they meant about people. Then, then people, you've, the, what you're perceiving about people and how they are treating you is because of how you treat yourself. You know, that depressive energy, that sort of sucking the, 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 the draining the, the energy out of the room thing is not attractive. It's not attractive to people and it's not attractive in terms of manifestation to the universe. You're, you're not, it's, you're attracting um, something completely different than what you really desire. So we have to stop, because when we hold back, we're just pretending to be something that we're not. And you, you get so used to playing this character that you're not, that you start uh, attracting similar vibration experiences that you end up believing is you. It's not you, it's what you've created based on your, your behaviors and your actions and your beliefs that have formed out of that condition. So the thing is, you could look at yourself as something that needs to be fixed and then criticize and go on and go on and it just spirals. Or you could acknowledge your soul's inner wisdom, that guidance and trust it and let that cultivate a more healthier perspective let that eventually let that help you to develop confidence trust faith and so forth all right so let's take a look at the cards for this week and this, looking at the archangel oracle card this card fell out uh-huh. And this is interesting because we're just talking about this thing that you're, something's coming to you. And this card, Archangel Uriel, brilliant idea. So first of all, this card is a confirmation of the thoughts and ideas. If there's something that you've been saying, I want to try this, this, the angels are telling you this is a brilliant idea that is being inspired by your angels, meaning... Your angels aren't telling you what to do. But what your angels do is when you have you've recognized and you've cultivated experiences that lead to an idea, they immediately add to that idea. They augment it, their writing, with support, with clarity, with purpose, with inspiration. Because your soul has already pointed this out for you and has identified it, recognizes its clarity, recognizes it, there's a word coming, it recognizes its truth for you. And so all the signals go out you know, there's a clarion call sent out to the universe, to the angels, all of your guides to add support to this so that you can feel the strength, so that you can feel the purpose, the contribution, the, the, the inspiration that this and opportunities that this will, this, this will provide for you. You know, they will augment, add to an idea that is going to sort of leap you forward. And this is sort of like that miraculous prayer, if you will. So this is a brilliant idea. 
right now, the things that came right to your mind as I've been talking, this, they've been sort of prepping you as we were talking to, for this moment when you would see this card, brilliant idea, and now not be able to doubt that idea. This is how they boost your confidence. And you're probably thinking, oh my God. Now, yes, oh my God. God is all over it. It's all over it, all over it, all around it, <laughs> all up in it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Believe, believe. And the message on the card says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. And I just keep wanting to, because this came up with a client, what I just said, because I want you to understand that the universe supports your strongest, healthiest, most vibrant, most life-changing ideas. They support you all the way. But when you feel like you, when you feel like the angels or God is telling you to do something, no, it's them tell, supporting you in doing something really important that your soul, you have identified out of all of that you've lived. You know, it's, this comes out of your journey. This comes out of your journey. You have free will here. Okay? And so this you discovered through your journey. You just didn't recognize it. But when the universe sees what this could do for you and others in a very profound way, what you've arrived at, blindly sometimes, then they will all of a sudden intensify that thought with their angelic vibration, that purity, the clarity, the balance, the harmony, they will amplify all of these things in inspiration so that you get that, that you are on the right path and that your soul in that moment that you're hearing your soul, your soul, you're hearing your soul accurately and to trust and move forward. Okay, let's take a look at the cards for the beginning of the week. very important because you know we're always like god what should i do and you know when you do that the only reason that you would ask god what to do is because you have choices or you see choices but you don't want to acknowledge that 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 those choices have come to you out of all that you've lived you know cause and effect cause and effect these laws it comes and and but you you don't want to accept sometimes the choice that you have to make or that you should make or the healthiest choice for yourself. You, you, you're afraid because you've already perceived that there's more responsibilities coming, which you don't know if you can handle. And so you want to, you know, kind of, God, I don't know. Can you tell me, God? I don't know. Because I'm not worthy to know, right? So this is not true. This is not even real. You always know because it comes from you. What you're not used to doing is giving validation to the signals within. You're so focused on the validation outside of yourself, you know, that this is how everybody else thinks. This is what everybody else thinks is being successful. This is what everybody else thinks is being happy. This is what everybody else... And if yours is different, ooh, no, I don't know about that. That's the thing you got to stop doing. Because the more you practice not knowing, whether you say it out loud or not, the, the more you become doubtful of the divine messages, which is just really support adding to the the brilliant light idea that you've chosen already it's it's like an internal decision that 
that's really more discernment, that's really more, the internal decision is sort of, it's not questioning itself. It's just arrived at that point. It's, it's just this, you know, I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's like you, you just, you know, things add up, they culminate, boom, you're struck. You didn't choose all of those, you didn't sift through all of those pieces with your conscious mind, but with your spiritual heart, which we're not always paying attention to, so that's why you think you don't know, and you feel like you're surprised, but you're not, because your spiritual heart is always active. This is an active genius of wisdom that is always sifting through whatever information you are experiencing, but not just what you see, but what's beneath and all around. It's a full spectrum awareness. And it gathers and the, the healthiest, it knows the most unhealthy to the healthiest, to whatever, to the whatever, kind of, it knows all of that. And its goal is pleasure, enjoyment, and happiness. So when you feel that support, that is that, I, that one or true set of circumstances that will really do that for you. And you know, when you have some good choices in front of you, you know that they can all go well. You know that, in truth, not one is really better than the other. That is ego interfering because you've been blessed with valid options that are all coming from a place of integrity. You're not going to miss out if you choose this one because the creator within you is going to make the best of any one of those paths. The path, no path, will light up without you being on it. So don't you get why if you choose that path, it's going to light up because you're on it and the other ones aren't because you're not on it. Wherever you are, there is the potential for prosperity. And where you're not, it remains still a valid option, which whenever you might just happen upon that path or decide to go towards that path, it will light up. And all the activity of creative activity and manifestation activity will become open, will be launched or ignited for you. Okay. So let's take a look at the cards. So don't waste time. And now we have the two of pentacles here. And this is, this is very interesting because the, the number two is about choices. You know, being at a crossroads or balance. So, you know, this is really starting off the week with juggling, juggling decisions, juggling um, opportunities. You know, some people, this card, this is like you got so many things that you're, you're juggling. But here's the thing, to focus on the things that are priority in the moment that give you joy, that create the greatest amount of ease and flow, because you want to stay in your flow. You know, you want to be mindful of your own inner rhythm, your own impulses. We need to be listening to the activity from within and not thinking so much about the va validation outside of ourselves. Now, I don't know why, but I'm seeing the word collaboration and congestion. 
and I'm seeing the word counsel. Collaboration, congestion. So maybe you're just spreading yourself a little too thin. Maybe in terms of task, I'm seeing the word tasks. So you're giving, I think what's going on, you're giving, you, you have some collaborations that probably are important. I'm going to forget the words collaboration, congestion, and counsel. Okay, and you are giving yourself too many additional tasks to do. They're right in, you need to apply your focus to the things that have come together for you. And I think the collaboration is something that's come together for you. The word just implies support and help. And that's where you need to focus your energy because you have that assistance. Don't focus where you don't have support for yourself. Don't focus where there isn't, where you, you don't have any support for yourself. So they want you to really take an assessment of what you what you do you the right word power like you usurp your power this way you you sabotage your power because you, you part of it is you have opportunities physical tangible opportunities that have come to you the things that you've been waiting but then you throw these mental tasks meaning these are little things that your mind keeps finding oh oh i forgot to do that. oh oh i need to do that too oh and i should be doing and you know and you keep doing that Oh, I got to go do this with my mom. And I, I told this person I was going to do this. And, then, and I, No. Like, you have to cut that off. You have to cut that off. You have to, you know, schedule that or table that or, um, you know, make people aware that that's not going to happen right now. You need to, or you need to, in yourself, say, that's just not going to happen right now because I need to focus here. But it's something like this that's going on. And this means that you need to take care of yourself. And the way to take care of yourself is to do what makes you happy, that's most fulfilling for you, to, go, to really work with the team of support with, from the universe and people around you. Okay? Let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week. And this is the Eight of Swords. And I think this just sort of says perfectly what we were just um, saying. And, it, you know, you see she's looking into a mirror. And she's just creating the situation where she's tying herself up in strings. You know, you see all these um, ravens, crows, um, just, you know, she's representing... Um, thoughts just pulling at her and and tying and letting herself get all tangled up. And I'm not going to say that the the that they represent negativity, but you know, for me, the the black would represent um, being in the potential, the womb of potential of the universe, where thoughts and ideas are just constantly sparking off. But, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity to be within the womb of potential of the universe. It's a great place to be. But many of us turned it into a nightmare because there's so many ideas floating around that the mind is a receptor of this. You know, let's, let's not give our mind a bad rap. It is a... It is a, 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 a intelligence, a computer that is able to process those thoughts, divine thoughts. And somehow we need, we're afraid to, to sort of look into that. And when we do, when we look into it, when we look inside of ourselves, because we're always able to see within, but in this card indicates that when we are fearful when we, what we see is chaos and we feel trapped and um, in, this, in this chaos, this fearful perspective. 
And so, you know, don't let yourself, and don't let your mind get out of control by not taking care of yourself, not balancing things and being mindful of, you know, the collaborations that you have, the important goals that you're working on at the time, and to only be looking for ideas that augment that. Don't entertain all the other ideas. You know, I think we talked about this a long time ago, um, to use your, your smartphone calendars or any kind of journal, any idea that comes up to you that you, you know, that's like a panic thing, to write it down, plan it in the calendar. So that you can take the time to just say, okay, well, this has to be handled by such and such time. And so I'll put it in the calendar to deal with that. Or if it needs several days, you can just map out the time. So that way, it'll s stop you from worrying about it because you know you've already mapped it out so that you, you, for you to handle it in enough time before whatever this pressing deadline that your ego is giving you. This is how you relieve your, your mind of this kind of worry and, and then just getting yourself all tangled up and that you can't do anything. And that you doubt yourself because when she looks in this mirror, this is this is what doubt looks like. <laughs> this is really what it looks like. And this is the trap that doubt sets around you, so to speak. Okay. So let's take a look at the card for the end of the week. And I love this card. We had this card, I mean, I think the first time we used this deck, the Queen of Cups, of course, I've always loved this card, but um, right here, you know, she is the reminder. So we have, you know, these two um, cards from the two different suits. And then we now have a court card, which would suggest to us um, behaviors or um, ways in our personality that things we need to adopt in our personality are ways to handle a situation here and, and this with the queen of cups this is about grounding yourself in your feelings you know really um really becoming aware you know don't run away from your feelings try to find that that balance i love how that she uses um this the um the singing bowl here which is sort of, as it's because it's a cup, representing cup, and the singing bowl representing voice. So this, this singing bowl represents the voice of the soul, which is the vessel, which is the, 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 um, the container for all of experiences. And you want to, you want to, with that singing bowl, you know, when you, you start it, it just creates one singular tone one purpose, one focus. And right now, you want to focus on that voice, that, that clear voice. Out of all of that chaos, just take your, 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 your stick and like you, you know, like you have that bowl, that singing bowl in your hand if you don't have one, and see what, what's that one direction that all of that those voices are pointing towards this is the medicine the prescription the angels are giving you to this feeling all of those things all those strings those attachments all of those you know validations me 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 do 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 what does all of that lead to because the thing is, is that in the, at the center of your heart flame that we started with in the beginning, there is one focus, one brilliant idea, one in, truly inspired, supported idea. There is one, there is a, the whole entire universe is singing one tone, harmonious tone for you to pay attention to. That would be the focus, your purpose in this moment. So bringing, finding that balance, right? 
reaching that one point. So that means you're going to have to sit and sit in those emotions. See how she's sitting up to her her waist. Okay. So now we have I already pulled from the bottom of the deck the lovers card. And we have this is our major arcana card for this reading. So this is about what it feels like more about the soul. This spiritual discernment, this this um, weighing your options. It's one of the things that this card can, could also mean, you know, it's about making those really important choices that our soul is really focused upon. And it points to something that you're passionate about. Something that you... Um, something that you feel that you feel is drawn to you and you to it. Something where you feel such chemistry. You feel alive, alert in every possible way. You feel as though you're a perfect fit or that you just meld one into the other, that this this role or this opportunity just, it's a part of you and you are a part of it. And I'm just reminded to go back to this uh, angel number. You know, the ascended masters have heard and answered your prayers about improving your career so that it's more meaningful and fulfilling for you. So pay attention right now to that singular voice there, there, yes, there, there, there's still variety in this choice, but this connection, that, that place where you feel it coming together, what that has come together as is, what has come together is a singular purpose, an idea. And to always, to have nothing ever, um, put it asunder, if you will. <laughs> you must always remember the purpose that brought everything together. That must be your mantra through your process and your development of whatever it is that you're trying to improve and whatever it is you discover that will leap forward your, your life and make it brilliant Okay, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings, and thank you for joining us this week. Um, it was a real pleasure to um, sort of read some of the comments from last week's videos and the um, live angel chat. It was nice to be seen and nice to interact. Um, and I'm thinking at this point, since this end of the month, it's going to be you know, holidays, and so probably we, we will be somewhere early December when we'll have another one and we'll focus on um, one specific area to talk about. Because um, there were, we talked about a lot of things and I could just really spend an hour, an afternoon on one of, one of the things, that some of, each one of those things. So um, if there's something that you all wanna talk about specifically in the next one, um, Leave your what it is, and the one what we'll, I'll do is whatever comes up as the the um, comes up the most. Then I'll you know say I'll take two or three, and then I'll post create a post, and you all can vote on the one that we'll do for the first one, and then we'll choose the the, the second and the third one for the following. Um, topics. So um, I don't know if I said this, but if you're looking for an angel reading, you can contact me at theangelschool.com, um, which you can find in the description link below. Also, um, don't forget to join us on our daily cart messages on my Facebook page. You can find that link below as well as you can um, follow us on Twitter to get the 
daily cart messages as well as the um, YouTube videos. So have a beautiful week, everybody, and God bless you.